Welcome back, family. So, like I said before, I'm going to go into some retail now for uh, for a personal rep with the uh, ever so popular Prism. And I decided to make this a little bit of a comparison. So, I picked up a case of Prism fat packs or cellos um, online from, from some uh, sports dealer and then I uh, went to a local Target to pick up these four mega boxes. So again, roughly the same price I paid for it. The mega boxes maybe about ten, ten, twenty dollars more than I paid for the uh, cellos. But again, I uh, just wanted to see uh, the difference between these two retail products. Um, also, you may notice I have that blue ice Jalen Suggs that was I got. Um, hit on a break recently. Uh, looks in actually pretty good condition, so I'm going to kind of document my journey of actually getting this PSA graded and uh, take you through the entire process to see how it goes with along with the, um, I think you can probably do the two Pulsar hits of rookies that I just did in my recent rep of Optic H2, which again, if you haven't heard, seen it, I'll link that here. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the Mega Boxes because again, there's a lot um, anticipate the prism. Uh, there's been a lot of talk about uh, how the the cello uh, cello packs are loaded. So I'm going to save that for last to see if it's worth it and use this as a good comparison. So let's get started. All right. So with these, again, these were targets. So they have they're kind of their own exclusives, I believe, with the red ice prisms. Which again, with this rookie class, could be really good with Mobley, Green, and Scotty get, um, hitting on those red ice prisms. You also get those, um, there's four uh, regular prisms, the silver prisms also included in here. Again, I don't believe any of those are numbered. Um, as with most retail products, it's very hard to find any numbered cards or autographs but you know, again you never know we, like we did with the um numbered cape out of the optic blasters which i may actually uh, revisit somewhat soon so stay tuned for that as well uh, but let's see what we can get hopefully we can find something good i don't use again with prism it's fairly expensive again one of the most popular uh, products in the industry so staying on the retail end with these and that's a lot of box for not a lot of packs. Um, yeah, but uh, for not staying on the retail outside of things to can reduce my risk until I can actually afford to go on the hobby side for this. But there you go. And mega boxes, there's uh, six packs per box, ten packs per or ten cards per pack. So let's see what we can get out of this. Yeah, oh, start off right off the bat with a nice Jalen Green there. Okay, that's good. <laughs> awesome. All right, if this is indicative of what the rest of the box or this break looks, um, decently centered. That's a pretty good, pretty good card. Okay. All right, again, a lot of base, so I'm going to go through them fairly quickly since we already started off with that nice um, Jalen. Yeah, dominance, and here's again the red ice prisms you got here. And these are not numbered. This is actually Wang ZZ's rookie card, even though it doesn't actually have this rookie logo on here. Not mistaken. Yep, not again. Not numbered. Forbes and Marcus. Evan. Nice. There we go. Emergent. Jalen. Yeah. 
Yeah, just keep feeding me Jalen Greens and I'll be... Oh, I think I got an auto. Cool. Alright, not lost yet. Let's see how that is. Emergent here, Greg Brown, Fournier, Jonas. Alright. Of course it's upside down. P-M-S-W-T. Slick Watts. <laughs> okay. Oh, even to put the uh, quotes on it and his penmanship. So again, this is one of the, uh, there's the penmanship and the rookie penmanship that you can find in this. So this is the uh, penmanship auto. I have, I have no idea who's on this uh, signer's list, but Slick Watts would be one I'd probably forget if I looked looked it up before. <laughs> All right, last pack of Megas. Penny. All right, this definitely is the best box. <laughs> For those that don't know, Penny was my first PC in the hobby back in 1994. So, imagine how long it has been since I've actually pulled, pulled a Penny um, before I got the latest hobby rip, which, again, if you haven't seen that, I won't get a card up here if you haven't seen that hobby rip. So yeah, uh, it's yeah, and you get a lot of parallels, the, albeit non-numbered parallels per pack, but yeah, I just don't seem to hit very well on them, with all these. So, not sure where I would put this, but... And you have a few super superstars, some rooks. Well, we didn't hit a cade, did we? It was mostly green, right? Yep, that green, a couple giddies, a couple Jalens. Good old slick wax auto and uh, my penny. So yeah, it's uh, it's all right. Um, probably won't go out and get this compared to at least what I've been hearing out of these jellos. But well, again, we're gonna see for ourselves what we think. Um, I'll leave these here. Give me one sec. I'm gonna clean stuff up for a little bit, and I'll be back to cut with the jellos. All right, now they're all cleaned up and ready. Let's go ahead and get into this case of cellos or fat packs. So with each case, uh, you get 12 packs. Each pack has a uh, 12 regular pack and then those three red, white, and blue um, cards. So um, these are the hanger kind of fat pack or um, cellos that you usually see just hang on the, the hooks at your retailer, whether you use the Target, Walmart, whatever. But again, these have been highly touted in the retail realm, so let's take a look for ourselves and see if it lives up to the hype compared to what we just saw from the, the Mega Boxes. Speaking of Joe Harris, Dominant Drew, Long Silver, K 
Covington Green. Now oh, again, these are non numbered, I believe. And then, oh, Cade. Low Cade. Always good to see you. So again, it looks like you get two parallels per pack, regular pack. One being the silver, the other being a color, um, true color parallel, it looks like. But let's see if you see anything else in terms of hypers or roadways or what have you, but they get a Cade. Again, we started with the Jalen in the first one, so maybe we'll follow suit. But again, the biggest thing is you get this bonus pack. So all three of these cards are red, white, and blue variants. So again, the hope is you hit on, like we said, one of the um, superstars or elite rookies here. So we got Surge, Devin Vassal, and Jalen Johnson. So one of the three was a rook. But not quite a rook that we're looking for. Zagoreski, not a Cade. All right. Yeah, if they want to keep feeding his Cades, I'm not. I'm fine with that. But maybe uh, make one into a parallel. Ideally, silver. Let's then pack Scotty. That is just the original insert of this. Not a prism. D Wade and a Mobley. Ooh. And something else that's probably more geared towards me in the back. Surprisingly, it's not a penny. That will be. Top load the kid real quick. But we got a T Mac as magic. And just like me, T Mac was a big Penny fan. That's why he wore number one. Great play. Ooh. Sneak peek of this last insert. Bobon. Keep hitting Bobon. <laughs> I'm not mad, but I keep hitting him. But what I just saw. A kid. Red, white, blue. Bam. Silver Giannis. That's nice. Ben Simmons. Ah. Hollow Instant Impact Giddy. So I th it's pretty much what I thought. Um, definitely more of an upside. Um, we didn't hit on an auto and basically only got the Evan Mobley um, red, white, blue hit for one of the top rookies, but yeah. There's that. Got the, got the Silver Giannis, got a Giddy, Penny, got this 
silver giddy insert so again yeah definitely a better ceiling I would say uh, like everyone's saying you better ceiling compared to the mega box where again you're kind of just getting a little bit of there's maybe a little bit too much emphasis on these um, red ice parallels that only don't hit on the top rookies like we've seen. Uh, you have more chances at the silvers that tend to be a more recolor match. Again, the biggest thing is whether or not um, you actually can get one of these, an auto off of these uh, cellos or not. But um, yeah, overall, I think, again, it, safer bet is probably those cello packs um and it does like you can get the penmanship and rookie penmanships here in the cellos too so um yeah i probably would side like with everyone else i'd side with the cellos the fat packs um i think it's a little more more fun of a rip uh and i feel like you get more of the top rookies and um, stars hitting on the parallels, uh, just the way the parallels are, are set up. So, well, that's that. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, again, I like I said before, I might be revisiting an old friend for my next personal rip, but my, I am also uh, maybe taking a little bit of a break on the basketball card side and venturing into some other things. Um, that I'm into. So stay tuned for that. Until then, thanks for stopping by.